The U.S. Coast Guard confiscated nearly $3 million worth of unpermitted fireworks at Honolulu Harbor. Some Hawaii residents are hoping that more seizures are made for a quieter holiday season. Manolo Morales reports. The Coast Guard says it seized the shipping container with more than 13,000 pounds of fireworks with an estimated street value of $2.7 million. Officials say one of the shipping companies tipped off investigators about the shipment. They asked us to come out and take a look at the container. Uh, I'm not sure what they saw, but they, they want us to take a look at it. And so we opened the container, and that's when we discovered the fireworks were inside. Real says most of it was high-end aerial fireworks. They were sent back to the mainland and destroyed in an appropriate disposal facility. The U.S. Coast Guard does regular inspections of containers coming through the ports. Real says this last shipment of fireworks was the largest he's ever seen. This is a big one for the community and for the safety of the port. Uh, we, we are welcomed into the community here, and, and we feel uh, honored to be able to, to help the community by keeping them safe and keeping this stuff out of, out of our, our communities. With so much cargo coming in, Real points out the inspections are done through a multi-agency task force that includes federal, state, and county agencies. Officials say this is the time of the year to be vigilant about illegal fireworks. As we get closer to the end of the year, you're right, uh, there are going to be more and more instances of this. Uh, and it's important that uh, obviously Coast Guard takes the lead. For us, as DOT, it's our, our harbor police uh, that participate in this multi-agency uh, uh, task force, if you will. Residents say the latest haul is a good start. Illegal fireworks are already being fired off and are a common complaint at many neighborhood board meetings on Oahu, especially from pet owners. We want not only the animals, it would be our kupunas, it would be our, uh, our, um, our veterans, you know, with the PTSDs and stuff. You know, I have a lot of friends that, you know, served that, you know, they would have, you know, flashbacks of back when they were in Iraq and stuff. Tainana says keeping the aerial fireworks out should be a priority. If we could stop that in the community area, in the, in the residential areas, I think it would help a lot. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.